Hello everyone, my name is Grant Katanik and I'm Component One's Product Marketing Specialist. We are pleased to announce that Component One 2023 V2 is now live. Let me walk you through some of the highlights from this release. Our WinUI edition expands this release with several new controls ported from our UWP edition, including Flex Chart, Data Filter, Input, and Menu. Plus, with our new WinUI and Maui bundle, you can license all of our modern cross-platform XAML controls together, including support for UWP and Xamarin Forms applications. For WinForms developers, we've added hover styles to FlexGrid, which provide interactive visual cues for users at runtime. We have added floating placeholders to our input controls, which provide a built-in label that follows material design principles. Also added is an improved design time experience for FlexChart. Now you can easily set properties and data binding from the design interface through the smart tag or by selecting parts of the chart. We've also improved FlexGrid for UWP and .NET 6 with the new validation and error styling API. This makes it easy to enforce user input within the data grid. For reporting and documents users, we've added Azure deployment support for Flux Report. Flux reports can now be used in web APIs for exporting reports and exposing other APIs on Windows through Azure. Our classic PDF library, C1 PDF, has been ported to .NET Standard, which enables its use across more .NET platforms and applications. For Blazor developers, we've added three new gauge controls for visualizing data on dashboards and web applications. Plus, we've added column pinning to FlexGrid, so users can freeze any column at runtime to keep important fields in view during scroll. These are just some of the highlights. For more details, check out our release blog.